and welcome to another tour. This time we have Kia Sportage. This is the fourth generation of Kia Sportage, very successful model in Europe. The Sportage was produced between 2015 and 2021. This one is from 2021, it's the facelift model. The facelift came in 2018. It includes changes in the exterior like a redesigned front bumper and also headlights. Really looks great. I like this gloss and combination with chrome. The car length is 4 meters and 85, which is longer than previous generation. Portage was also available as all wheel drive. Also at the rear are some changes, rear bumper and also the rear lights. As you can see, this middle bar doesn't light up, but it follows the trend. Also, the fuel capacity is increased in the fourth generation. Place for fuel fuel cap. From around windows, massive handles, seventeen inch alloy wheels, we are the tire dimensions. See how well is this covered. Also, the air goes through here. Blinkers on the side mirror. Very beautiful SUV. So here's the key. At the side of a key we have a lock button and unlock and to open the trunk. Now let's open it to see the interior. 
let's start with the trunk. Here you can see camera. You can remove this like that. Four hundred and eighty liters of space, which is also bigger than previous generation. The previous had around four hundred and sixty-five. Here we have light. Speaker on the right side. Um, this floor can also be set in two stages. Like that. And you have flat floor. Also, the side you have extra space. And you can place this over here. Also, we got some anchors over here. Additional space here. Tire repair kit over here. Also on this side. Let's close this back. You can also remove this by pressing here. Really nice quality material. Here we have handles. And op optionally, you can also get power boot. This one is not e equipped with it. Let's move on. Uh, massive doors. And the upper part is soft. Here is hard plastic. But really nice buttons for the windows. Lock and lock doors, lock the rear windows, adjusting the side mirrors, they are also foldable. Speaker over here. And some storage over here, and a place for a bottle. Let's move on to the seats. Really nice. You can see got some stitching. Angle adjustment for this part and for height adjust. To, to slide the seat forward and backwards. Here we have fuse box. And for adjusting the steering wheel. Welcome message from here. Really nice, spacious interior. They also increased space from the previous generations in the front, also in the back. Up here, we have soft material, but also some kind of stitching. Goes across. Here we have vents for open and close. And down here we have for headlight beam adjust for brightness of the driver's display, lane keep assist, and auto stop uh, to turn it off. The steering wheel is also redesigned for the facelift, which is a bit thicker. And I think over here is also a bit wider. Really nice. But uh, it feels really nice in hand. On the left side we have for voice control to shuffle between radio stations. 
uh, to six stations and increase and decrease volume at accepting and rejecting calls and on the right side for cruise control and for menu which we will come to it later increase the speed limit and at the center we have this 7 inch screen which is also upgradable to 8 inch screen it's standard on facelift model down here we have seat belt reminder and passenger airbag on and off and here are the controls for the climate control now let's turn it on to see the display see the system So the system is touch screen. Let's see the settings. Very responsive. Display. You can also choose screen saver. Have voice, memory, radio, media, climate. So here is the display. When you operate over here, it's also displayed on this screen. Turn it off to synchronize with the uh, driver temperature. Let's lower the fan direction where you want to blow air circulation front and rear window the mist and down here we have heated seats both for driver and the passenger we have here media phone options also available Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Even the manual. So you have here date and clock. Okay, let's move on. Here's the lights. Also physical shortcuts for the radio. Also for the media, if you have USB or something else, to seek between the tracks or the station, favorites button, you can assign whichever you want, one of those available options. Also setup, brings the setup menu, which we have seen before. We have climate button which brings immediately this menu and down below twelve volt power outlet and for USB and another one over here. This is another storage which is rubberized and you can also remove it and clean it. Here we have 6-speed manual, they are also automatic available and with dual clutch um, to turn off the parking sensors. Really nice. Place for two cup holders, handbrake, armrest, which is extendable. Open it. It's quite deep.
Let's move on to the glove box. It's really also very deep with light. Let's move up here. We have sun visors. Also with light. Also over here. And place for your sunglasses. Also for the driver. Let's see up here. This is the driver display. You can go between menus with this button. Some available options. Service interval. Okay. Other features. Fuel economy. Driver assistance. Electronic stability, driver tension warning, lane safety, lane keeping and things in lane departure warning. Fuel economy, driver information. Digital speedometer. You can see the odometer over here and the outside temperature. On the right, on the right we have speedometer and fuel gauge. Warning lights over here, and on the right, right counter. Let's move on to the back. So the back we have hard plastic. In front is soft. Everything's hard at the back, but you got your place for the bottle and speaker. Really enormous space. To fold the rear bench, we have controls over here. Just like that. Also, you can put seat battle out of the way. Top tether. Put it back. My seats also at the back. Also the rear we have air vents for the passengers and power outlet. Also the door we have controls for the window and at the back they are also heated. Pockets on both seats. Place for your feet. Let's take a seat. Also, you can see how much space I have for legs. So for the cat, lights for rear passengers. Handle also over here, but we got hook only on this side. looks from this side let 
small one. Let's quickly check the passenger view. Really nice. Very roomy SUV. Also auto dimming mirror. Also from this side you can lock and unlock doors. Closing sound is really great. Let's see the engine. The engine is 1.6 petrol engine, 1970 kilowatts, 132 horsepower. Also, the new engine for the facelift was the mild hybrid. Uh, 1.6 diesel, which replaced the 1.7 diesel previously. Now let's hear how this engine sounds. That would be all. Thanks for watching.